Welcome back. We are here at Open Studio. Today I am with Gabby, the registered dietitian and nutritionist. We are talking about health and wellness. Welcome back. Gabby, in the market, there is so much on the market concerning weight loss. How can someone navigate through all of these products? So at the end of the day, there's always new things that are coming up. There's so much information that you can find online mm. that it can become extremely confusing. Okay. At the end of the day, you want to try and stick to basics. You can look at food-based dietary guidelines for South Africa. Mm. That would be a good base yes. to start at. Yeah. And keep it simple. So you don't need any tablets for weight loss. Mm. You don't need, you know, you don't need to waste your money on those types of things. Okay. It's all about what, what you eat. foods you are putting into okay. your body and that you're choosing the right types mm. of foods in the right portions. Wow. Because most of the people, they go for tablets, there is the aloe vera gels, bottles that they drink. So you don't have to go for all of this. You must just see what you eat. Just focus on what you eat. 100%. So all of those types of things are just short-term quick fixes, mm. which everyone does want to find the easiest way. Mm. But... Um, having a healthy diet and mm. being able to maintain that in the long run mm. and being able to include and incorporate exercise or sport into your life mm. regularly, those are the only two things that you really need to do. Wow, that's great. Hey, Debbie, can you please tell me, uh, most of the diet plans are so confusing. So what can you advise the easiest way to diet? So once again, it's all about what types of foods and the mm. portions that you are eating them in. So um, you want to try and make sure that you're eating mm. foods that are nutrient dense. So you're getting mm. really good nutritional value from them, but you're yes. not getting a lot of uh, too much energy content from a small amount of food. So you want to include more fruits, vegetables, mm. whole grains, lean meats, low mm. fat or fat free dairies. Mm. And then you want to have less added sugars and saturated fats and trans fats. And so reading labels on products is really good. It's very good yeah. um, and then watching your portion sizes on a plate. Mm. So adding vegetables to as many meals as possible, filling up on those lower energy foods okay. and having smaller portions mm. of your higher energy foods. Okay. okay, can you please tell us why breakfast is so important and why sh what, sh what should I eat for breakfast? So any meal of the day is important okay. and you should never be skipping any meal. Okay. Um, but starting off your day with breakfast is really important mm. because it gives you the feel that you need. Yes. Most people are working or going to school through the mm. day and that is the time where you need the most feel for your brain even, mm. for energy. Um, if you miss any meal of the day, then you'll get a, a drop in your blood sugar levels okay. and you feel, you'll feel like you won't have much energy through mm. the day. And then once you do eat the next meal, you'll be very, very hungry and very low in energy. Mm. So you're going to need to eat more then yeah, at that meal, yeah. which is what we want to avoid. Okay. So tell, tell us, is there any a specific type of food that I have to eat in the, for the breakfast or I can eat whatever? Yes. Yeah, so you, you want to try and include um, some kind of complex carbohydrate always to start okay. off the day. So maybe um, an oats porridge is really great okay. or to do um, a low GI or seeded or rye mm. type of bread with some kind of protein on it, so um, maybe eggs or mm. peanut butter is a good option. Mm. Um, and maybe to add some fruits into the breakfast time too would be a really good idea. Okay. So cutting a fruit into the mm. oats mm. or into your high fiber cereal. So it is important to have breakfast. It is very you can just maybe I said I'm going to eat in lunchtime. No. Okay. It is very, very important to start your day off with that yeah. feel that your body mm. needs to get through mm. the day. Okay. Okay, tell me, Gabby, have you had any problems with your clients to, to reach their minimum results for diet? Yeah, so I think something that happens a lot is that people find it easy to stick to a plan mm. through the week. And then it gets to the weekend and then they decide that they now want to let it all go. Okay. And um, the problem with that is that you need to have a reduction maybe in your total energy 
every day or most days mm. of the week in order okay. to see results. Okay. And this is for weight loss that I'm talking about. Mm. And if um, you have thousands and thousands more calories on the mm. weekend, mm. then you're just going to undo what you've done good in the week. Okay. So it's okay to treat yourself, but it shouldn't be that one mm. full day becomes only treating. It should be mm. maybe one treat on one day, then that's okay. Okay. Okay, tell me, uh, do you believe that nutrition, be, uh, do you believe that uh, nutrition depends on ethnic or any, or to a blood type? So the blood type diet is not um, a scientifically based diet. Okay. Um, there definitely are um, diet, different diets that I would recommend or different foods that I would recommend depending mm. on someone's okay. ethnicity or religion um, just because certain people would prefer to eat different foods. Mm. Um, genetics definitely can play mm. a role if you do have um, a, some kind of genetic disease um, or maybe you would metabolize certain foods better than others. But mostly mm. at the end of the day, a healthy diet is based on all of the same principles. Okay. Okay, okay tell me what are some uh, common myths that people have about diet? So about diet and nutrition? Maybe that they think that it is a quick fix and they try okay. something and they cannot stick to it because they've cut back on too much energy. Okay. So a diet is not something where you're meant to feel restricted or starved. So mm. it's something where you're meant to incorporate foods that are going to help your body to feel good mm. and to feel like you have sufficient energy and keep your body feeling happy. Yeah, then you yeah. can sustain that. Yeah. So it's all about feel, making your body feel happy about this, about yeah. what you're doing. 100%. So, yeah. Giving your body regular um, mm. food and good energy and good nutrients from foods. Mm. So you can't go for this nutrition thing and then you want the quick results now, 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 now. Yes. So you have to be patient about all of this. Exactly. Sometimes you must have your diary and then you write down everything that this week at least I see the results. Maybe I lost two kgs yes. and all this so that you can see that this thing is working for you. So, and then exactly. I see that it also needs patience, isn't exactly. it? Yeah, you have to be patient. Exactly. Yeah, and stick on what you're doing and stick on your diet what is being given by your nutritionist or your dietitian. Exactly. So it needs to be something that you can change mm. within your lifestyle, not just for a short period of time. Yeah. Let's link to the break. And then when we come back, we'll hear more from Gabby. Stay with us.